guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer and to all of you that keep coming back hello and welcome back quick reminder if you've never subscribed just to remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe and after that click the bell sign that way you get a notification whenever i upload a new video so in today's video as you can see from the title i'm going to be telling you how i am stuck in europe i am absolutely stuck in europe you know, to start with let's all be honest most people that go abroad go abroad with the plan of coming back home you know everybody's going abroad and say i'm going to be back in like maybe 10 years 15 years five years you know let me just go and make some money and come back home let me just go away you know for this length of time and then come back later people travel abroad for different reasons there's always that plan that i'm going to come back it is the plan of most people not everybody there's some people that say i'm gone bye bye to nigeria i'm never coming back but majority of people go and say i'll be back and they plan to come back but um the thing is it always doesn't work out as planned um just in case anybody thinks oh maybe i'm stuck in europe because i have no papers to travel no that's not what it is i can travel this minute if i want to i have my citizenship i have my european passport you know i can book a flight like this and i can be in nigeria that's not even what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is that plan of coming back to settle in nigeria and no and something else i have to say is not just me a lot of nigerians living abroad are stuck abroad now what do i mean by stuck abroad when i say stuck abroad is you know that player retiring in nigeria you know when i'm old i will go to nigeria and retire in nigeria you know um you know some people that say oh let me just go there and make some money you know about 10 years i'm going to be swimming the money i'm going to come back you know you know i would have built my house and i would have done this and done that i'm just going to come back with all this money a lot of people realize that it's not actually that easy to go abroad and make all this money and then come back it's actually not as easy as that not everybody that goes abroad is rich enough to build in nigeria that's the fact a lot of people end up being comfortable enough to own a house in the country they migrated to you know have a comfortable life there but when it comes to being able to to uh, being able to build in nigeria it can be tricky there are a lot of reasons why it's not possible for everybody one not everybody can afford it two even some people that can afford it cannot leave their job and go to Nigeria to build. And, you know, sending money to people back home to build for you is something a lot of Nigerians are shying away from. Because a lot of people have been duped. I think I made a video about it where people talk about, you know, how they've sent money for a family member to build them a house and it never happened. But their money is basically stolen. And... Mm -hmm but no house built so a lot of obstacles why a lot of people cannot actually build in nigeria and let me tell you it's hard to go back to a country where you don't have any house to call your own you know, we can all say nigeria is our home but there's that thing about having a home to live in where you go home if that makes sense a lot of people have no place to stay so the chances of going home then is reduced more and more because okay where am i going to stay when i, when I go to nigeria uh, so like for myself if i have no home in nigeria you know my father's house has about 21 rooms in it my father has a big house in nigeria but it's not mine you know it's not mine and i come from a village where you know only the boys inherit everything that belongs to their father the girls get nothing the land everything nothing at the end of the day a lot of people family your father's house your brother's house your sisters whatever they're, they're not yours so when it comes to the idea of retiring in nigeria you're looking at the country there's no house there that belongs to you you know how are you going to go to a place where you don't have a house that's the story for a lot of people living abroad they have no place to call their home that's definitely why a lot of nigerians including myself we are stuck abroad something else is this if you are living abroad and you have your children born abroad they're all going to school abroad is where they have all their friends all their schooling has been abroad you know the community they grew up in is abroad all of these things a lot of these kids you can't really approach them and just go back when you retire and you go back to nigeria there's a big chance they won't be coming there's a big chance they won't come because nigeria is not their home so at the end of the day most parents would want to stay where their children are that's another reason why a lot of nigerians including myself um are stuck abroad even i put some people that built in nigeria um a lot of people come from places where they actually do not want to go back to. Now, I know people that say, oh, I can't go back and live in my village because uh, bad belly people plenty. Oh, some people have been kidnapped or killed or one thing or the other that's happened. I know people like have built uh, big houses in their villages or whatever, and they can't go back there because thing about, you know, if I come from abroad and I go back and I say I want to retire in my village, and I'm going to be a target for, you know, a lot of the thieves and burglars and arm robbers and all of these things because everybody thinks you're from abroad or wealthy. So when it comes then to going back and say, oh, I want to 
to go back to Nigeria and settle in Nigeria. Um, that's another reason why a lot of Nigerians are stuck abroad. So another reason why a lot of Nigerians are stuck abroad, including myself, uh, when you lived in a foreign country for so many years, believe it or not, it gets to a point where you may say it's not really a home home. You can begin to really begin to feel at home in a foreign country. That Somebody asked me once, you know, where is home? I was trying to explain to them how it's so, it's so, I don't know how to explain it. It's got to the point where when you were here, you want to go to Nigeria to visit. And then when you go to Nigeria, you want to come back. You don't want to come back home because when you are so set up in a foreign land you've lived your local shopping center your local post office your neighbors your life is so well set up that when you go back to nigeria you just want to come back you want to come back to whether you like it or not but maybe i can use the word subconsciously but some a place that has become your home for such a long time i'm actually about 17 years now in europe it's a long time. It is a long time. It, whether you like it or not, it gets to a point where a place you have lived for 17 years, it's hard. It's hard for that not to be, begin to feel a bit like home. Like for most people, it can't become home. The other time somebody was telling me about a Nigerian a remote place in somewhere in Europe that has uh, become the, the, like the counselor. It's like the look, how do I explain in Nigeria? Is like like something about like the head of a local government you know this to show you a very remote village he was in power all the way from Nigeria like when I say remote this village is so remote this man had lived there for like 20 something years you know how are you, are you how are you gonna expect him to wake up one day and just go to Nigeria a man like that is stuck in Europe because somehow Europe has become home to him so the truth is, a lot of Nigerians are saying oh, they want to return, they want to return. They end up somehow assimilate so much, integrate so much to the point where this foreign country becomes a home. That when they go to Nigeria, you know, they want to go back, they want to go back home because you have to realize something about the, the nature of human beings. Sometimes, even when you don't plan it, your own being... Your own being can feel at home in a place you never thought possible. A lot of Nigerians living abroad, their being has somehow been able to be able to make the new place a home, see the new place as home, that even when they, no matter how much they try, they go to Nigeria, they just miss this place that they've lived for 20 years, 25 years, 30 years. It is hard, you know? So this is another reason why a lot of Nigerians, including myself, are stuck abroad. Another reason a lot of Nigerians, including myself, are stuck abroad is, you know, a lot of people have tried to go back to settle down and then they just find everything so... There's a saying that you can't learn the left hand in old age. It's just a saying. If you've done something for such a long time, it can become hard to learn the other thing. Living in Europe for 17 years, 20 years, 30 years, you can get used to the setup of the way life is in Europe. That when you go to Nigeria, you can, you can find it really hard to adapt. It can happen. As for example, for a lot of us that have tried to bring our elderly parents abroad, you find a lot of them find it so hard to stay. You know, they stay two weeks, they're like, no, they want to go back, they want to go back. And you're wondering, like, this place is well set up. I've given them a room, I make sure they have this, you know, I make sure you have, they have that. You do everything to make them comfortable abroad, and they just, I want to go home, I want to go home. It's just, this is not what their bodies are used to. They are used to their community, used to their routine. You know, my local shop, this is, you know, the, the village market and the village meeting. It becomes completely like their, you know, their bodies can't take it. Their bodies seriously can't take it. That can happen as well. That a lot of Nigerians that have come abroad, you know, live for a long time. They go back to Nigeria, even if they are forcing themselves to stay. Um, their own bodies refuse to accept Nigeria as home. Their whole being has this craving to want to just go back to where they, they, they are being is used to being so it's just the other way around these elderly, elderly people that come from nigeria can find it hard to adapt the same way that a lot of you know nigerians that have lived abroad for such a long time go back to nigeria they find it hard to adapt i have a woman that lived in the uk for a long time then she tried to go settle back in nigeria in her 60s she lasted a few months she just couldn't do it she just ended up going back to the uk why because 
it was hard and the truth is this the longer you stay away the harder it is to return back to nigeria don't get me wrong there are people that have succeeded in doing it but a majority of people struggle a lot to be able to adapt to going back to nigeria and that's obviously why you know a lot of us are stuck um abroad you don't nobody is jumping more in Europe. You don't have this big gap between the rich and the poor. A lot of people that live abroad think they can just go to Nigeria and be rich people. It's a lie. A lot of people that live abroad just have this comfortable life. Just this comfortable life. They are not really up or they are not down. They're just kind of here. Nigeria, <clears throat> sometimes when they go back to Nigeria, they, it hits them hard to realize that there's no middle ground. You know, is it that you're gonna be there or there? And a lot of a lot of Nigerians living abroad are not really there, so they end up finding themselves the other way, and they start to struggle because Nigeria, Nigeria is actually expensive, especially when you're used to living abroad. You know, Nigeria can be very expensive. That at the end of the day, a lot of Nigerians that live abroad can actually not afford to be able to live at the same standard that they live abroad. And in, in most part of Europe, wherever you don't have to be rich to be at that standard. But in Nigeria, the basic standard that a lot of people have here, uh, have in Europe, in Nigeria, it's actually the, the it's actually the rich people that can afford this basic standard. A lot of Nigerians can afford. In Nigeria, you have to be rich to be able to afford the the basic standard. Another thing is, you know, the situation of Nigeria when it comes to politics and when it comes to, you know, corruption, safety, a constant electricity, healthcare. A lot of people are put off, you know, when it comes to coming back to Nigeria. But think about it. I've actually heard about a lot of Nigerians that are building in Ghana, the neighboring country, because they don't want to return back to Nigeria. You know, that's kind of, that's sad, you know. One of the biggest reasons a lot of people end up not going back home is when you've lived abroad for such a long time, you live abroad for 30 years, 40 years or whatever, 20 years or whatever, you know, before people come back, a lot of their friends and family have died. A lot of the people that made the place home are already gone and then when they come back, it can feel very empty. It can feel very empty. Think about it. When they say home is where the heart is, you know, most of the things that makes a place home can be family and friends and neighbors. Those are the people that make the place home. Think about the place you call home. If you went there and there's nobody you used to know still alive, it won't feel like home. It's going to feel so different. A lot of people have lived abroad for such a long time that when they go back to go settle, so many people that they used to know are gone. A lot of the important people in their lives are already gone. So they go back to Nigeria. Uh, so people struggle a lot because being there, you know, sometimes reminds them of how different it is. Oh, you know, BC used to be here. Adobe used to live there. Everybody's gone. It can be hard for people to resettle into a community when all the people that all the people that made the community what it was, they're already gone. I hear people say that, what am I going back to Nigeria to do? My father is dead, my mother is dead, blah, blah, blah. Like, what am I going back to do? There are a lot of reasons why a lot of people are stuck abroad. And um, not because of papers, but because somehow along the line, Nigeria has stopped somehow feeling like home as it used to be. Or that the new country somehow has succeeded in being home to them. I, honestly, I have lived here long enough that um, I have to say that somehow it has become home. So people may disagree, and what I can tell you is true. A lot of communities are basically Nigerian community. Go to places like Peckham. Peckham is basically Nigeria, and these are how many generations of Nigerians that traveled many years ago and never went back. It's easy for people to say, oh, Nigeria is home, Nigeria is home. But the truth is this, that sometimes a foreign country can actually become home. So I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, just to say that um, a lot of us, not just me, a lot of us living abroad, and some has stuck abroad, not because we don't have the document or the money to travel, but because somehow the foreign country has stolen our hearts. The foreign country has uh, succeeded in being home. I know there's a saying that home is where the heart is. But uh, believe it or not, a lot of foreign countries have been able to steal people's hearts. Hence, succeeded in making a lot of people feel at home in the foreign country. And with that, I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.